Here at Southland Conference Media Day, Grant Boone here with Clint Cock, the head football coach at Central Arkansas. Uh, Clint wanted to talk to you for a couple of reasons, not the least of which is you were head coach when, when our guy, Ken Collins, was at Central Arkansas as an assistant. What, do you have some dirt on us that we can use at a later date? <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, I wish I did, but uh, Ken's a top shelf uh, uh, young man, excellent football coach. Uh, he and his wife, Robin, uh, were really instrumental uh, in helping us uh, get our program started when we got there in 2000. And uh, Ken's a former uh, all-time great quarterback at, uh, at Central Arkansas, and certainly uh, when I was putting my staff together, he was recommended to me, hired him, and stayed with us for three or four years before he uh, went on to uh, ACU. And I couldn't be more proud uh, for Ken uh, and for Robin and, and the kids. And uh, you guys got a, you know, a tremendous individual in Ken Collins. Well, he speaks often and fondly of you as well as, as helping shape who he is as a head coach. Uh, the main reason we wanted to talk to you, of course, is because of the fact that, that Central Arkansas, uh, besides the fact that you're purple and you have the same letters in, in, your, in your name as, as we do, UCA, uh, you guys are out in front a little bit of, of where ACU is. Just a few years ago, 2006, you guys trans, you know, transitioned into NCAA Division I, the FCS level in the Southland Conference. So help us understand what some of the challenges and opportunities are out in front of ACU, as well, you've experienced. Yeah, you know, and uh, couldn't be more blessed with the commitment that our administration made. Uh, and the support we got from our community and our alumni, embracing the move. Uh, you know, certainly we feel like we're kind of ahead of the curve a little bit, and having transitioned uh, six, seven, you know, short years ago. With that said, there were some challenges. Um, you know, obviously funding all the time is, a, is an issue. Uh, we were able to go to 63 scholarships immediately and made a huge difference. I understand talking to Coach Collins, not, you know, not quite there yet. Um, uh, you know, I think the recruitment of uh, linemen, mm. uh, you know, the, the Southland Conference is, uh, is a bigger, stronger, faster league week in and week out than, than what we saw. In, we saw some great players in Division Three, mm -hmm. but, you know, too deep just about it. Every one of our programs are awfully talented young people, long, athletic, strong, and uh, that was the area that we had to, you know, do everything we could in recruiting and player development to catch up in. I think Abilene and, and the rest of the schools coming into the league, you know, we are in a tradition-rich skill area in Texas and Louisiana and, and even Arkansas. And um, so we all going to have pretty good skill players. Uh, you know, certainly the quarterback is important, but it's up front in the trenches. You know, big, strong guys pushing on each other for 60 minutes and then having the depth uh, to play deep into the fourth quarter uh, was a challenge for us. And, and then the, the obvious challenge was not being able to compete, to play in postseason. And, you know, young people want to win championships. And uh, uh, you have to find, and this is the part that's uh, uh, really kind of positive, quite frankly, as well as maybe a, a negative connotation, is you got to find people that want to be part of something special, mm -hmm. something on the front end where they can come in and make a difference. And... Uh, and lay a foundation for future teams in that program. And we were very, very fortunate in 2006 and 2007 uh, to recruit a couple of classes uh, where well, those guys stuck and they wanted to be part of uh, uh, you know, something really, really special in, in building our program at the Division I level. You know, 2008, we finished first in the league and we got a ring, but we couldn't, uh, <laughs> we couldn't go to the playoffs and we felt like we were one of the best teams in the country. But yeah. uh, you get through those first three years and you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Well, Coach, all the best to you this year. ACU and Central Arkansas played each other a decade or so ago, and so we look forward to the next time we get to, to suit up against you guys. Guess, Hopefully that will be next year. Yeah, I think in 2014 we'll come to Avalon. All right, Clint Conk, 14th year as head coach at University of Central Arkansas.